name is Camelia Jahanshahi and I am one of your RE team members over at the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Today we're going to be celebrating Earth Day by making our own little local terrariums. So the first thing that you're going to need to make your terrarium is a vessel. I found this beauty that does have a top at the dollar store because I had the idea that I wanted to make a terrarium and I wanted it to be big. <laughs> uh, that said, you don't have to go this big. Anything that you have around your house, a jam jar, a mason jar, any type of glass jar with a lid, <laughs> uh, will work out just fine for you. Um, so once you have that, you'll need a couple of different layers of uh, rock and sediment to build up your terrarium to help with proper drainage, which is really important in a closed terrarium because uh, the moisture is going to get locked in there, which will help to water the plants. But if you don't have sufficient drainage, it can cause um, molding and, and, and just unpleasantness. So first you're going to need some big rocks. So just like this, you don't need too, too many, especially if you have a really um, small jar, but enough to maybe cover a couple of inches at the bottom or an inch, depending, you know, proportionately. Then you're going to need some type of netting. I have some tool here that I have lying around my house. Um, gardening netting is what is recommended if you look online, but when you Google it, it looks pretty much just like fabric that uh, is really porous, like the type of a fishnet or a cheesecloth. So I think that that works pretty well. You can get creative. Then you'll need a mixture of sand and gravel, which you're going to layer on top of the big rocks and the netting. So the netting acts as, as a net to catch it um, while still allowing water to fully filter through. Uh, then you're going to need some nice soil. This is a mixture from me picking up the rocks and the plants that I picked up and a little bit of potting soil that we had lying around the house. Then last but not least, the official thing that you need are plants. So I went around and I scavenged these little guys. When you're making a terrarium, the key is to get things that are low to the ground. And if you're making a wild terrarium like we are today, then you want things that have grown kind of in the same area so you know that they're going to uh, adapt well together. Definitely don't go more than about two inches because it won't have room to grow up. Um, and so those are all the only like essential things that you need. Recommended is some charcoal, which if you have it, great. If you don't, that's also fine because not all the tutorials uh, ask for one. I have a charcoal filter from a fish tank, so I'm just gonna throw it in, see what happens. I suggest, you know, having a little bit of flexibility and creativity in the process is a good thing. Um, and with all that said, here's how we do it. And um, that's pretty much it. You're done. Congratulations, you made a terrarium, so cute. You can look at mine up close, take the top off for you. You can see the layers, that's what it should look like. I definitely went a little heavy on the sand, you don't, probably shouldn't do that. I'll probably add a little bit more dirt and a little less sand later, but for now, you can see, super cute. <laughs> okay, I hope you had fun and have a nice Earth Day week time.